This is a look at radar. Overnight, we did have some rain. That's now gone. And you can see this series of flood warnings and watches throughout eastern Kentucky. I kind of want to start with that. I know so many of you have friends and family in eastern Kentucky. Let me see if I can get this to work. Okay. Well, we're going to try and get this. Done. There we go. So uh, near the Cumberland Gap hazard, that rain has stopped. And now as we continue to move off to the north, there you go. A lot of this rain is ending, which is a good thing. There's still a series of flood warnings and will be for a little while longer. But the worst as far as what nature is producing in the realm of rain is over. Here we are now with a lot of cloud cover out there, but that's going to change too because the winds are going to be out of the west northwest, so it will be dry all weekend. The humidity drop will have below average highs, and I think really a good day ahead. 72 now, but notice the drop in Chicago. When I came in this morning, we were at the same temperature as Chicago. Now you're beginning to feel the uh, effects of that west northwesterly breeze. So we're a degree cooler than yesterday. Chicago now six degrees cooler, and that's going to be a trend for the weekend. So many kids heading to school today, 67 by 8 a.m., only 74 at lunchtime, and then coming home. How about this? 81 for a high, but again, that west northwesterly breeze takes the humidity right out of the picture there, which is great. And for your Indiana State Fair, John Duran's going to be with us live in just a few minutes. This may be the best day of the whole fair uh, to go if you can go today because 81 will be the high today and the humidity low. As we go into uh, later on tonight, uh, temperatures are going to drop into the low 60s. This big ridge of high pressure is going to dive through here. Again, that west northwesterly breeze. This is like a block. If you were in basketball, this thing sets a pick and it keeps anybody from bugging you, and that means us. So we don't have the humidity, we don't have the rain, we don't have the storms. On the back side of this, as we move into Sunday afternoon, it's still going to be fine. Monday, here comes a front which could give us some scattered showers and even a thunderstorm or two. Let's serve up the four forecast at the breakfast hour. Less humid today with a high right around 80, 81, something like that. Saturday 81, Sunday 82. So beautiful weather for NASCAR Xfinity and for IndyCar. And then the storms start to come in Monday. Carlos, by the middle of next week, we're back to the 90s.